that's the thing. All right, y'all. Um, we did this last year. I got this thing back in 2021. I mean, 20, in 21, 21. So we're going to do it again. Um, we, uh, like Samuel Locke, he said, it won't work doing the first time. It won't work, ain't worth doing the second time. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? <laughs> so we're going to go through it again. Anyway, we talked about how some, um, some folks think they can lose their salvation. Right. But that's, that's salvation. I mean, that's, I mean, that's a hard thing to, I mean, so some people, that's a hard thing to, to eternal salvation it seems like it's hard for some of you to grasp that yeah, thing. Right. But it's but it's so simple. Just believe the yeah, Bible. That's right. Basically, that's what it's all about, believing the Bible. Let's go to the Lord in prayer right quick, y'all. Dear Lord Jesus, Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for this day, Lord. Thank you for your grace and your mercy, Lord. You've been so good to us, Lord. And we just take care of Jennifer, Lord. Just let everything work out right for her, Lord. Remove them tumors, Lord, and take that pain from her, Lord. Just don't take her, Lord, would you? Uh, and help all the other uh, uh, problems around the church, Lord, yeah. financial or physical or spiritual needs. Lord, just be with us, Lord. Oh, Lord, oh, my God, be not far from me, Lord. And bless this church and everything this message this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yeah. Uh, like I said, you know you hear people, pe people um, uh, 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 of church teaching that, you know, they talk about um, uh, they hear somebody that lost their salvation. Well, he done lost his salvation. He ain't, he ain't saved no more because he did this. Or because he did that, he didn't. He didn't ask the Lord to forgive him for something, so he lost his salvation. It, it ain't true. It ain't true. It's uh, um, um, but God, Pastor used that, used to use that scripture all the time. But God doeth, He doeth forever, forever. He, he, if God saved you, you saved forever. That's right. Um, uh, for one to lose their salvation, they have to. They have got to undo everything that God has done for them to be saved. That's right. They've got to undo that stuff, stuff right there. They got to, everything God did for salvation. They got to undo that right there. Um, uh, Isaiah Isaiah fifty five eight nine says, "For my thought are not your thoughts." It don't matter how we think about it. The only thing that matters is how God think about it. it says, "For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways." Said saith the Lord. That's what God said. Said the Lord. Um, for as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. It ain't what it ain't what we think. That's what that's what most folk, folks that believe they lose their salvation. They think that their way is better than God's way. Basically, that's what, basically yeah, what they're getting right. to. Um, hey, folks need to need to grasp that um, that thing. It's done. It's got to be done God's way. I mean, if, that folks read the Bible and think they got it, but they ain't getting it. Um, so sometimes folks just need to be a, just have a reminder of the salvation. I said we got, we got a few more, more different, different places in here than it was last time we did this, but um, um, you know they got they got to undo all the rules. Of, if you got rules of salvation, they got to undo all of them. They got to buck against every every rule God's got for salvation. Um, first, they got to declare that God's grace is not sufficient. Right. Yeah. Uh, in Ephesians, right. Ephesians two, everybody knows Ephesians two. Um, Ephesians 2, 8, and 9 says, um, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Hey, it ain't, it ain't yours. Hey, when you think about it, hey, that, um, God, God offers this gift of grace uh, for your basis of salvation. Um, that, that gift is, a, is, is, a, is voluntarily transferred by one to another without compensation. Meaning you ain't got to, when God gives you that gift of salvation, eternal life, you don't do anything, to, you don't have to do anything else to it. You, you, don't, you, you don't add nothing to it. You ain't compensated for that right there. I mean, God, you, don't, you ain't paying God to give you that gift. I mean, when you accept him, he just he, he slaps it on you. You just get it. I mean that's just the way it is. When he he just he just I mean that's if if I if I like I, I think I've used it before. If I if I give you a million dollars, this is a gift to you, brother John, a million dollars, and I have and I go in hard times and I need that money back. If I take it back from him, it was not a gift. That's right. You see, I'm, see how see how it's, it's pretty simple right there when you look at it like that. A lot of times we don't just don't understand what words we're reading, and sometimes yeah. we just gotta understand what the word is. And that's what that, that's what that gift is. It's something to be given and and not to be taken back. That's right. Mm -hmm. you like Ain't no Indians in here, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> like I was like, I was like Indian give, but you know. <laughs> anyway, um, we got. I guess we got a few. I'm sorry about that, y'all. But um, 
I mean, that's worse than it could be said. You know, you know what I mean? Um, but anyway, but hey, but that's but that's that's what that gift that gift is. Hey, it's a, it's a gift. It's free. It's gift. Um, <clears throat> You know, all, all, all the Ten Commandments are, are, are great. Hey, the Ten Commandments is not sufficient um, uh, to, to save you eternally. You know, I know I'm saying they had to do that stuff and, and do it, but it ain't, it, the Ten Commandments ain't going to, it's, it's, it's like a, it's, a, it's a type of work. Um, in Romans 3, Romans 3, 3.20 says, um, Daniel kind of hit it on this some of the moment. It's his devotion, I think. Uh, Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight, for by the law is the knowledge of sin. Hey, the law lets us know that we are sinners. Right. Hey, but we, don't, but we don't get saved because of the law. Right. Huh? We, don't, we don't get saved. We, we don't have our salvation because of it. Um, you know what that thing, when it says um, that uh, it's sufficient, uh, that sufficient means it's, it's adequate. That, hey, hey, that's sufficient means that that uh, that it, it's a, it's enough. You yeah, you don't you can't you can't add nothing to it. Can't tell them, it's, that's all you need. That's what that sufficient means. It's all you. It's adequate. Hey, no no baptism, no water. Not a, yeah. Hey, when we say we baptize by, in spirit by the blood of Christ, right. you know, But hey, but there ain't no water baptism is gonna save. Ain't no water baptism gonna wash, wash away so, Hey, it ain't, it ain't by the blood of bulls and goats. It ain't by them sacrifices they was doing in the Old Testament for salvation. Hey, it ain't about it right there. In Titus 3, it says, um, not, by, not by works works of righteousness with which we have done, but according to his mercy. Amen. Hey, he had mercy on us. Yes, sir. We did, hey, that's a good thing. I thank, I thank God for his mercy. Yes, sir. Um, not by works of righteousness we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of, re hey, we've been regenerated, we've been made something new. Regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost. Hey, <clears throat> thank, thank God for it. You know, since works can, since works can't do nothing to uh, earn eternal, eternal salvation, then evil works can do nothing to remove eternal salvation. You know what I mean? We can't do enough wrong to, to, for God to take that, to, to, for God to take it from us. Because it wouldn't be a gift then. That's you know right. what I mean? See how that, you see, see I'm getting that? It wouldn't be a gift then if he took, if he took it from us. That may, you know what that would make God? That would make him a lie. That's right. That's He's right. not a man that, I should, that he should lie. Mm -hmm. Hey, in, uh, in uh, Galatians 6, in Galatians 2, 16, it says, Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of, Je the, but by the faith of Jesus Christ, even we have believed, in Jesus Christ, that he, that we might be justified by the faith of Christ. Yep. It's all about Jesus Christ, Christ, His faith. You know yep. what I mean? Um, and not by the works of the, not by the works of the law, or uh, for by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. Right. Hey, by the works of the law, you can't get no righteousness. By the nope. works of the law, you can't be justified. Nope. Can't, can't, Amen. can't get it. Hey, Ephesians, uh, Philippians three nine. Philippians three nine says. And being found in him, not having mine own righteousness. Hey, now we could, be, we could be found in him, not having my righteousness, which is filthy rags, but his righteousness, you know what I mean? Not having, uh, and being found in him, not having mine own righteousness, which is of the law, um, but, that, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith. Hey, that is, that is, uh, is of Christ, is of God. That faith, that faith yep. is of Christ, that faith is of God. Who, who, is, who is Christ? Who is God? They all, they, 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 they won. Yep. Huh? And we, can't, we can't mention one without being God, without the other being God. Um, saved by grace through faith. That's what that's all about. Um, then we move on to... Um, to, um, you got to find the, find the faith of Christ to be faulty. Mm -hmm. You got to find Christ's faith. We just talked about his faith in, in Christ is in Christ is God. So so we go, so he says faulty. We got to say God's wrong. That's right. Um, to find the faith of, uh, the faith of Christ to be faulty. Everyone that thinks they can lose their salvation at some point think that that, that faith is faulty. Mm -hmm. It's something something's wrong with it. Something's wrong with it. Um. The um, 
The thing, the thing is, uh, you must believe, but hey, but your, 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 your belief is, is, com is completed by the faith in Christ, by, by, the, by, by the faith of Christ, not the faith in Christ, but, the, by, but by his faith. We believed it, and when we accepted it, hey, we got salvation. It's, com it's complete. And that faith, that faith, hey, God put, it on, put that faith in us to, to accept it, we accept it. Hey, it's all, it's all from, from, from conviction to being moved by the Holy Spirit to accept it, the acceptance of it, it's all by Christ. You know what I mean? It, the whole movement. Hey, the, when, the, when, the, when this thing started years ago with my grandma and telling me about salvation, Ted, you need to get saved. You're going to heaven. You're going to heaven, Ted. Always when your grandma said, hey, th that thing, that, that, that ain't my grandmama. That's Christ getting me to that point right there. Yeah, I know she's doing what she's supposed to do, but that's, she's, Christ is working in order to get me to this point right here. Christ is, and I'm certain that some of y'all, Christ has been working on this thing to get you to this point where you eventually accept Jesus Christ as your Savior. Hey, it's, it's about him. Um, anyway, back, back in Ephesians, Ephesians 2, 2 8, it says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. It's a, it's a gift of God. Hey, we got, we got to understand that that faith is not, is not uh, of yourself. It's, the, it's, the, it's that gift. You know, remember we talked about that gift? It was that uh, voluntary transfer by one person to another without conversation. Hey, that you don't have to work for it. You don't, you don't uh, 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 give nothing for it. You just, you just accept it. You accept that gift. Hey, it's all about, it's all about him. Hey, we got to say that, we got to say that what everything that he did for our salvation, that, that his, that his faith ain't, ain't good enough. That there's something wrong with his faith. I mean, I could. You go tell God that your faith ain't good enough. Yeah. That's basically what you say. You, I mean, God's standing right there. You just tell him that, that yours ain't good enough. Yeah. I don't know. He might but just kill somebody. He might. I mean, I believe God will kill people for you know certain things. We should have. I mean, we should have a fear that God might right. do something. I mean, that's what that's what kind of help keeps keep us in line. Is we got we got of a of a fear that God. Got the power. We believe him. We believe he can do some things. Because you because your because you are saved by faith, which is the gift of God, don't mean that you don't have to believe. We just hey, you got to first you got to believe on him. Believe on Jesus Christ. In um in Galatians 2 16 says, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by faith of Jesus Christ, even we have believed. Hey, we believed on that thing in Jesus in Jesus Christ that we might be justified by the faith of Christ. You know, every time we think about that, we see that faith. You know, it I can't recall ever saying faith in Him, but it's but it's faith of Him. It's His faith. It's His, um, and not by the works of the law. For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. Hey, I don't understand how folks can claim they read their Bible, understand, and just overlook this right, this stuff right here, and say that you're going to hell because you don't do some things. We, hey, it's just eternal, it's just eternal. It's forever. But God do what He do it forever. Yep. I ain't quite grasped that part. It'll probably come to me in a little while that men may fear. Sometimes I think I, I got it, and then sometimes I lose that thought. But once I get it, maybe we'll have a Sunday school lesson on that. All right, but um, sometimes I get it, and it, it'll fade from me. But sometimes but when I, I, it'll still stick, and I got it. But anyway, uh, I kind of think I got it now, but I better not go through it. Uh, not by works of the law, but by the uh, not by works of the law shall flesh be, shall no flesh be justified. Um, so we we pretty much get to the to the understanding that it ain't so much faith in Christ it's faith the faith of Christ the faith of Jesus Christ the faith of the Lord that uh, it, it work it, it's His uh, it ain't so much as ours in a sense but it's, it's His it's His faith that, that, that does it His faith. Um, it might, it's, I guess it sounds kind of confusing. Look at look in, uh, Romans three. Romans three. I hope it kind of clears it up a little bit. Romans three twenty two. <laughs> Even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ, 
uh, unto all and upon all them that believe, for there is no difference. Hey, I think that kind of kind of puts this put this put this thing together, right? Now. Hey, that 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 thing. It, it, when we believe, we believe in that he's got that he can save our soul. When we that's what that's what we that's basically what we're believing. And his faith gives us that the, the understanding, the stuff to believe that right there. Um, in uh, the faith of Jesus Christ is given unto all and upon all of them that believe. Hey, back in back in Philippians three nine says, um, and being found in Him, not having mine own righteousness which is of the law, but by, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which of God which is of God by faith. Hey, the um, where am I at? Hey, so, hey, some folks believe they need to, they got, they got to pray through, um, just, just hold on and, and muster up enough, uh, and muster up enough faith to be saved. I mean, folks really believe that. You know, you're talking about folks that I'm going to pray this thing through, and you, you sitting there and listen to them talking, you know they, they going to hell if they believe what they believe, right. you know what I mean? And they say, I'm going to pray through this thing, I'm going to, I'm going to muster it up, and I'm going to, I'm What's that song? I'm climbing up on the rough side of the mountain, and I'm yeah. doing my best to get make it in. Hey, Jesus Christ has done all it yeah, took man. for us to make it in. Because hey, because he was because what he did is is sufficient. That's right. What he did is adequate. What he did is enough. Yes, sir. It's, it's enough. Um, hey, the thing is, the thing is to just just believe the Bible. You know, we we got that we got the King James. You know, it says uh, authorized King James version. Mm -hmm. He said authorized that, that authorized. Uh, that, uh, authorized that authority is, yeah, is, right. is, 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 is the power to command. Mm -hmm. he got, that Bible's got power in it. It's, it's, it's got the power to command. Hey, power um, mm -hmm. power of uh, hey, the, the right to give orders. I mean, he's the creator of this universe. It's his Bible. It's his word. Yeah. He's the one that inspired folks to write this thing down. And his, it's, his, it's, his, it's his thoughts, his ideas. I mean, this is who saved our soul. Hey, so he's got the power. He's got the He's got the authority. He got the authority to tell you that this is how you gonna be. This is how you got to be saved. He got the authority to tell you that uh, if you don't accept Jesus Christ as your savior, you go to hell. Because it's he. It's he. It's, it's his creation. So he he wrote this thing. And he, so he's got the authority. Hey, um, he, he uh, is 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 his decisions and it's his and, it's his, and, and, and he's got and he's got the right to enforce the. Obedience or the, dis the, the obedience in this thing right here. It's his. It's his. That's what. That's what. That, that's, that's, that's what that authorized version is all about. He's got the authority to to say these things because hey, if if you was a, I guess if you was a, a Muslim, the whatever the Quran got the authority to tell you to do stuff. Hey, but we say by this right here, it's got the authority, and this uh, this 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 authority it affects everything else too. It affects other things also. Um, that's what that's what that's what that's, you know. You ever think about the authorized? That's what the authorized version all is basically. He's got the power. He's got the authority to to tell you it's his. If I wrote a code book, electrical code book, and I, and I signed my name on it, I'd had authority to tell y'all how y'all supposed to do electrical work. You know what I mean? But this is his. Um. Another thing, uh, if you want, if, if a person really wants to lose their salvation, they got to take back. <laughs> His righteousness. They got to. They got to get Christ to take His righteousness right. back. But now, if He takes His righteousness back, that goes goes that goes again to that free gift. I mean, He want a free gift if He take it back. Um, he to, to look. This is what's got, this, that's what's got to happen. When um, when you think of imputed righteousness, we think that it's put on us out from an outside source. That's what that righteousness. That's how we got that right. We want nothing in us. It was from from an outside. It was an outside source. And who's that outside source? The outside source is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Hey, it was something. Hey, it won't. It was put on us from something from from something else. It won't, it won't us. Hey, because like I say, all our righteousness is filthy rags. Um, what we what we what we consider as right and righteousness is is filthy. What we what we think is right is is wrong. What we think is righteousness ain't righteous. Um. God took our righteousness, which is sinful, and and put it on and put on us a robe of Christ's righteousness. We um, our righteousness. I mean, God look at us and see before salvation, 
he look at us and say, well, you condemned to hell. He look at us and say, you, you're doomed. That's before salvation. Hey, that's the road we had on. The road we had on said that you go to hell because you're a sinner. You go to hell because you ain't accepting Christ. But when, when our robe of, robe of righteousness is put on Christ's robe, hey, it says that you get to go to heaven. It's, that's, that righteousness said if you accepted what my son did on the cross for your sin. That's what, that's what that righteous, that's what that robe, that's what that garment says to God. He looks at that, he says, well, you got the blood all over you. You full of, you got blood all over you. That's what he looks at us. You got Jesus Christ's blood, his, my, his blood, his blood is on my soul, my soul. That's what that, that's what it's all about. His blood is on my soul. Um, when Christ died on the cross, he took our sins and paid the sin penalty full. Hey, in Galatians he paid it. Galatians 3.13. Galatians 3.13 says, oh, Christ has redeemed us. Amen. Hey, aren't you glad that we did? Glad you've been redeemed? Amen, Boy, that's a, that's a powerful word right there. Yes, I get excited when I heard you know, them girls up here singing about that redeeming thing the other day. Boy, that, that thing that right there get you, get you, get you, get you worked up. Amen. Huh? If I was Brother James right now, I'd be crying. Uh, that redeem thing. That, it's something about that redeeming. Little little words like that. It ain't it ain't big, but I mean, you, but you got to think back where you was at That's to right. be redeemed. What you was redeemed from. Anyway, in um, in uh, Galatians three thirteen says, um, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse. Hey, Christ was made a curse. Uh, redeemed from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For he did it for us. Uh, for it is written, curses everyone that hangeth on the tree. Hey, he was he was hung on the tree for our sins. Hey, so that you know he took. So that means that if if everything hangs on the tree is cursed, Jesus Christ took on took a curse, yeah. and that curse that he took on was that sin curse that we that we just born with. We I, we can't sometimes we can't help being born the way we. I can't help being born to looking like this right here, handsome and Devin there, huh? <laughs> but hey, but uh, <laughs> but hey. Just like hey, just like just like that sin, just like that sin thing, you can't help being born a sinner. It, it was out of your hands. Yep. Hey, but but Christ took it on. He took yeah. a, he took that curse. That's a curse that was on you. He took he took that thing and and, and, and went to the cross with it. Um, in uh second in second where am I at? Second Corinthians five. Second Corinthians five twenty one says um. For he hath made him, for he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made. Hey, we made the righteousness of God in Him, because of Christ. We we made some stuff you can't hardly. I mean, you know what it means, you understand it, but yeah, and you you got this right. I know y'all got that part right there. You know what I mean? But and you, but how does something how to say it? It's, it's, it just overwhelms me, but I believe I believe because I understand exactly what it's saying. But putting a word on it, to, I can't do no better than what y'all got right there. No, uh, no. You can't. I mean, we made the righteousness of God in Him. Yes, hey, yes. God, look at us and hey, you just hey, you you look like Christ. Basically, that's about what it's saying. Hey, we join heirs with Him. Yeah. Join heirs with Him. Hey, in um, Colossians two. Colossians. Colossians 2 10 says, um, yeah, is, For ye are complete in him. That's great, ain't it? Which is the head of all principalities and powers, in whom also ye are circumcised with the circumcision, make circumcision made without hands, in putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ. Christ, hey, it was Christ's faith. Christ did it, his circumcision, his cross, our sin. I mean, uh, uh, buried with him in baptism, wherein also ye are risen with him through the faith of the operation of God, um, who hath raised him from the dead, and you being, and you being dead in your sins and your uncircumcision of your flesh, hath he quickened together with him. Are hey, you alive with him? Together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses. Hey, everything, every, hey, every, all that stuff is forgiven because, and then, and then, because you got the gift of God is forgiven in the future. You got, because, because the gift of God, you got eternal life. Um, 
being blotted out the handwriting of the ordinances that which the ordinances that was against you. Hey, that stuff. Hey, that that, uh, that, so that was a lot of stuff against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross. Thank God, thank God, he took all that all that stuff. Right? He took on our trans our, our transgressions, our, our sin. Hey, and, and nailed it to the cross. Um, hey, our righteous our righteousness is some is up and down. Amen. Our righteousness is sometimes if we feel if we having a good day, people think, speak. We might be, hey, even though we say, we say, but dang on, I'm, on, I'm all right. I'm good. But sometimes, sometimes I do wrong and I say, my, I'm, my righteousness is, is down. I'm going to hell today. You know what I mean? But God's righteousness is, 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 is constant. I mean, he ain't got no up and down on his righteousness. Hey, if you saved, you saved. If you're going to heaven, you're going to heaven. If it's eternal life, it's eternal life. Hey, man just got little stuff going on with his righteousness. But God's righteousness, is, is, ain't nothing wrong with it. God's righteousness is constant. God's righteousness is, con is, is continuous. Um, hey, God's righteousness being continuous, that, that, that goes back to that robe. Hey, that robe is on us all the time. The robe of Christ, that, that righteousness, it's there all the time. It's there. Hey, God's righteousness is, is constant. Hey, God's righteous, righteousness never fails. Hey, to lose your salvation, you must, uh, you must give back uh, to Christ your sins, uh, he must take it back. He must take back his righteousness, the, the righteousness that he died for, and I guess take back that it's finished. I mean, that's what you, that's what you got. You got to give. You got to get them sins back to it. He's got to say it ain't finished. I mean, you got to turn. I mean, you got to rewrite a whole new. It won't be an authorized version no more. It'd be something else. You got to write a whole new Bible to say what you want to do to, to give your righteousness back to Jesus Christ. Put your sins back on it. Uh, <clears throat> You know the Bible. The Bible mentions a lot about uh, what Christ did for sins, but it, but it never shows it never shows you how to lose it. I mean, I know I understand there's some scriptures in the, in the Bible people get, have conflict, but it never tells you how to how to actually lose your salvation. People, that's that's all in somebody's mind how to how to how they, how they want to lose their salvation. How to lose their salvation? Hey, goes right back to just believing the word. The, hey, the authorized King James Amen. Version. Hey, in order to in order to lose your salvation, you must convince God to fail in His commitment. Hey, God, God committed. I mean, He's He's a poet at all in this thing. You know, just like your marriages. Hey, if you've got a good marriage, hey, you, it's because you don't committed something to it. You don't you don't you don't done away with some things. You just your mind is on that marriage right there. Hey, you committed to it um, for salvation. Uh, Before salvation, we did what we thought was right in in keeping our soul. Hey, to do good. That's, I mean, I I mean, what before I got saved, I thought I I, thought, I said, man, Ted, you do you go help this old lady across the street and and and, and do something for your grandmama. You, you do something for your grandmama anyway. You go ahead and do this and then I tell you, hey, you right with God. I had a cousin that went that went to my other cousin's uh, my, uh, funeral and he he was a doctor about a Virginia somewhere and I, he was sitting there talking. He said. That man there don't get to heaven, ain't nobody going to heaven. And, and he won't save, but because his good works, they thought that he was going to go to heaven. Right, right. Because, because his good works, they thought he, he would go to heaven because he did good. Whew. Anyway, um, after salvation, we turned the keeping of our soul over to the Lord. That's what we did. That's what we, did. Uh, we, we turned it over to God. In 2 Timothy 1, 22, 112, I'm sorry. 2 Timothy 112. This is, For the which cause I also suffer these things, uh, nevertheless I am not ashamed. For I know whom I have believed. I know who I believed on. Y'all know who you believed on? Amen. I know whom I have believed and am persuaded. Yes. Mm. And that's another one of the words that kind of gets me like redeemed. I'm persuaded. I mean, that's, that's the thing, that seems powerful right there to me. And I'm persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. Hey, if somebody loses their salvation, somebody think they lose their salvation, hey, they ain't persuaded that he can keep them. They ain't convinced that he can, that he can keep them. In, um, in uh, 1 Corinthians 1,
at salvation, God's committed to keeping our, our soul to the end. In 1 Corinthians 1, 18, it says, 1, 8, <clears throat> um, said, who shall also confirm you unto the end uh, that ye may be blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ? You know, one day we're going to stand in front of Jesus Christ. Uh, we, and you know, that, that day of the Lord, I think we did a Sunday school lesson one time before, that day of the Lord, it could be that one day that you stand in front of him, but it could be like a continuous, a long period of time. If whatever period of time we're going to be in front of him, hey, we could be blameless. Hey, we, 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 we're, right, we, we're right with him. No matter how long we're going to be with him, how long we'll stand in front of him, hey, we're going to be right with him. We'll be right with him. Hey, the Bible says we can be confident in committing our soul to the Lord. In Philippians 1, 9. Philippians 1, 9. We can be confident in commit. Hey, uh, our folks probably just ain't, they just, they just can't, ain't confident about that thing. Hey, you know, I ain't, I ain't the most confident person in the world. I probably doubt myself more than about anybody. But, uh, but one thing, and not to try to brag on myself, but one thing I've accepted was a lot of stuff in this right here about, 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 about uh, eternal salvation. Amen. One thing, hey, I'm, I'm confident about, it ain't, ain't so much Ted Mack, but I'm, I'm confident that, that what God said in his word is, is right, that, he gonna, that, he, that he's going to do it. Um, in Philippians 1, 6, it says, uh, being confident of this very thing, that which he has begun, that which he hath begun, a, that he hath, which he hath begun a good work in you, we're performing until the day of Jesus Christ. Hey, I'm 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 confident in that he's going to continue to do to do right. And I'm confident he's going to continue to uh, bring me on the convic on the conviction. Hey, that's why well, sometimes I don't do some things I don't because I don't because I'm confident that he might straighten me out if I do something that ain't right. Uh, that, and that goes right back to me being his, me being his. Hey, I'm confident of some things about the Jesus Christ. Um, that he committed that he that he's committed he's committed to keeping keeping my soul. Um, to lose your salvation, you must you must um, get God to fail in His commitment. Hey, the, everything He's promised you, uh, everything He's committed to, I mean, just just accept it and just take it. And um, just be convinced that, you know, what he said, he's going to do. I mean, I mean, we, we accept him. I mean, everybody here believe that he saved your soul. Hey, you, you accepted the death, burial, and the resurrection. I mean, just be committed that this is right, too. Just believe that uh, he'll never leave you or forsake you. Just believe that uh, uh, your righteousness is of him. Right. Just believe that uh, that eternal life is through him. That's, that's basically all it's all, what it's all about. Now, if I run out of, we'll get to a point where I'm in a bind to do another Sunday school lesson, I, we got two more parts of this right here. So over, over the next year or two or three, we might do another, another part. But that's it for Sunday school this morning, y'all.